This is the Virgin Mobile Samsung Intercept and today we're going to go over manual update. For those of you who are tired of waiting for the 2.2 update, we'll go over that. I'll just prove right here, this is the firmware 2.1 and I'm going to show you that I am still not getting the uh, update says my system is up to date. So, here on Facebook, you can read about how to do it. it has a step by step instructions. Thank you very much for those that posted it. You have the link to the actual site to go download it. And when you do, the file is going to look like this. I downloaded it onto my SD card. I use a card reader because I have a 64-bit operating system and Samsung Intercept does not play nice with Sam with 64-bit. So this is the name that you're going to see. When it says put it straight into the root, it just means not put it in any file. Just put it straight onto the SD card. You're going to change the name of the file. to update, so it's going to be update.zip when you're done. You want to make sure that your battery is fully charged and I went ahead and restored this phone to factory just for safety's sake and formatted the SD card and then I went ahead and put the uh, update onto the SD card. So let's go ahead and first instruction is to power off the phone. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and go get my SD card and put it in. Okay, I went ahead and put the SD card in. The phone is off. Fully charged. So the next part you're going to hold down the power, the volume down, the talk and the call in buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. I'll hold that down. Okay, we're in recovery mode and you're going to use the uh, sensor pad and scroll down to apply SD update zip, SD card update zip. See that? Highlight it over and then I'm going to go ahead and select. It's verifying update package. And we'll see how this works. Try to keep the video running as long as I can so you guys can see the process. This could be about five minutes. And I may end up pausing. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and see. 
double check the settings. And we have Android 2.2.2. Okay, so after having a chance looking it over, this is the Intercept manual update with Android 2.2.2. This is the one that's released by Virgin Mobile. And um, I know you guys are wondering, and you probably heard, the Intercept does not have live wallpaper. As you can see from here, it's just plain wallpaper. And if you don't know what that is, and take a look here, here's the Optimus. And go into live wallpaper. And But that eats a lot of battery. Put that away. So, and it runs very smooth. Right now I have the display animation. I have it set to all animations and it seems to be doing just fine. The boot time has definitely gotten better. Um, it now boots in about 60 seconds. That's loading the SD card as well. As you can see, the screen looks different now. You have your dial pad. And uh, I've already tested the texting on here. I have no problems with texting, making calls, doing the manual update. Um, you have your five home screens now and you can just touch instead of sliding your finger. For those of you looking at the top bar and going where's all my controls that I had before, all you have to do is hold your finger Go to Widgets, Power Control, and there they are right there. You can control the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS Sync, and the screen brightness. Okay, with the Samsung Intercept and the update, um, if you're you've heard that. Uh, it won't have the hotspot so let's go ahead and prove that to you and I'll show you what happens I have put the widget on just like you could do the other phone and wait for it to come on that is just a widget to activate a hotspot okay so the hotspot is showing so this is what happens is um, go ahead and refresh that and you'll see it shows up as Android AP but you'll see a red X so when I try to connect it says the settings saved on this computer for the network do not match requirements of the network so it doesn't it doesn't allow the connection even though you're able to put the widget on. For those wondering if if you do the manual update will you be able to factory reset and it will will it be the 2.2.2 or will it go back to 2.1 so just to show you that it will be and I've already formatted the cards so that there's no um, 
no update file on here and we're going to go ahead and do a factory update okay so my phone has went ahead and done the um, factory reset that's what I meant to say and I shall prove it to you right here and Android version 2.2.2 I found that um, the update on the and on the Android 2.2.2 did make the phone just a little faster but not by much and I did run benchmark scores and that will be in the next video which will be the re-review of both the Samsung Intercept and the LG Optimus.